they feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. Kendrick Lamar seemingly threw a jab at Lil Wayne. Okay. And if you guys were tapped in, you know, some people were arguing, is it a jab or is it not a jab or this and third? But it was very clear and apparent when he said, uh, can we play it? Okay. He said, I used to bump car to three. I held my rolly chain proud. I or knee. I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. Okay. And um, this is... Wayne responded, which, you know, a lot of people were saying, yo, bro, did you diss Wayne? But it apparently looked like Wayne responded, finally. So Wayne said, man, what the fuck I do? I just be chilling and they still come in my head. Let's not take kindness for weakness. Let this giant sleep, I beg you all. No one wants destruction, not even me. But I shall destroy if disturbed on me. Love. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think nobody read this shit and didn't laugh afterwards. Yo, Wayne, stop it, bro. <laughs> I love you, Wayne, but stop. <laughs> Yo, Wayne, you're not even like a diss rapper like that, bro. Like, does Wayne have like a crazy... Yo, bro, stop it, bro. Yo, we've seen one... Wayne, stop it, bro. The reason why I'm telling Wayne to stop it because this would look like Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Like, with all due respect. Like, Wayne, we love you. But go back to the Wayne who said he didn't know that thought 21 Savage was multiple people. Okay? The person who was out of touch who said he didn't know what a Kodak Black was. Right? The person who basically didn't know what a Lil Uzi Vert was. And you basically say you were so out of touch, you didn't know what was current. Right? Go back to that person but I love you, Wayne. But truth be told, Wayne is one of those artists that, and I hate to say, y'all going to take what I'm saying and y'all going to think it's disrespect. But Wayne's legacy in hip hop has aged the worst by far. And I don't know if it's because he operated and so much of his great material are on these mixtapes that are over other people's beats and they came and lived with the live mixtapes and the dat piffs and all of this spin rillas and since those outlets have kind of like gone away i just seen that that piff say that they're gonna upload all their shit to like archive that piff archive that they said they're gonna upload all their stuff to um to archive and yeah the transfer is one of the largest rap collections there but i'm gonna be honest with you i really believe that wayne's and maybe it's just drug use and i i hate bringing that into it because we are we're very sensitive about wayne's health but I think Wayne's legacy is one of the most disrespected. I think Wayne's legacy, and I, and I hate to say, y'all gonna call me a hater. I think it's one of the most disrespected and probably the one that has aged the worst. And I'm gonna tell you a couple of the reasons I believe. I just told you some of the reasons in terms of the mixtapes, right? Another reason I believe is that with everybody who really trans... Uh, uh, um who really went to another level, right? Everyone, who, you got to have to be in Wayne's spot or a J spot, or you have to, you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to have to think about DMX because he's going to, some of the things I'm going to say going to fit into it as well. I think also because Wayne didn't also become the boss that I think it was almost intended for him to be. But it's so crazy how I don't know. I'm trying to be careful my words, but I don't know. I was hearing some people talk about like I think I was hearing Adam and Wack talk about um Young Thug, but they were talking about his influence. And but it was not only his influence. I think they're talking about his catalog, his current relevancy, but the people he's brought into the game and introduced. And I don't think people look at Wayne like that, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wayne is like the forgotten goat. He's he's literally like Kobe. Like people just compared, you know, with all due respect to Kobe, right? And Garrison. So 
People just compare LeBron straight to Mike. They just kind of skip over Kobe at, at a point. I honestly feel like Lil Wayne's legacy is one of the most disrespected. And I do think it's aged incredibly poorly. I seen a video, and this is when I realized I said, Wayne's legacy is one of the most disrespected. When they when they posted Wayne's Amazon performance and everybody clowned it, saying, this is the nigga y'all want to headline the Super Bowl, it really dawned on me then. Everything th we thought that was so dope about Wayne back in the day, everybody now looks at it now as some clown shit. So Wayne had announced that the Super Bowl performance was going to be... Um, no, no, he says, all right, he was going to do Amazon Music, right? This is after this, right? Forgive me for, uh, forgive me for the delay. Um, the delay on, you know, just the delay, I want to say. Uh, I had to first of all, I had to get strength. I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice. Every opinion, all the care, all the love, and the support out there is your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt, hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself. For not being mentally prepared for a letdown, and for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position, like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing. You know, I thought that was nothing better than that 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 spot and that stage and that. Position. Okay. Anyway, there was a bunch of people like quoting or like showing a bunch of Wayne performances and they were like, yo, so y'all really tell me this is what y'all want to see the Super Bowl? By the way, I think this was a concert. He did, he did speak on it. Hold on. Here we go. When the first, when the, during my lifetime, the first Super Bowl was here, I made sure I bought tickets at the beginning of the season. And you know, I did the same when I moved to Miami, and I was wishing my team make it. And guess who made it that year? The motherfucking Saints. I was able to give my mama that sweet. She was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans, and they had a fucking ball. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my ass off to get that fucking position and it was ripped away from me. But this motherfucking moment right here. <laughs> they can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, you know, they had mad clips like this. They said, this is a nigga y'all wanted. Listen to this. I'm going to be honest with you. I love Wayne, but for whatever reason, man, I've never seen. Yo, I, I reminisce back to the 2008 era, the 2006 to 2008. Man, Wayne was like the greatest artist ever created. And like now when I think people talk about his legacy, I don't know, bro. I don't know.
I don't even know what I was talking about before I got to there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he said, what the fuck I do? So, so, no, so, yeah, I guess I was saying, with all due respect, man. With all due respect. Lil Wayne, I do not want to see Lil Wayne rap at Kendrick. No. I've seen Tyson versus Jake Paul this year, and I'm good. Let me see if I can find that clip. Hold on. Oh, I thought there was music on. Anyway. Yeah, I don't want to see it, bro. I don't want to see it, bro. Oh, another reason, I, I think it's because, yo, Wayne, like, Wayne never transcended like I think a lot of people thought he was going to be. You know, I think people look at that arc of um, Jay and how Jay became a boss. And I know he's an enigma, but it felt like Wayne was always, like, even still, he's just a rapper. And, and, and I think that kind of devalues his dominance it devalues his run in the game it devalues his influence and yes i get it we do know nikki and drake who are subsidiaries of his label are running around but it, it feels like i don't know he, he, he his legacy just doesn't get all of that like, obviously, when we talk about it, we give it to him, but, like, the mere fact that, the, here's the point, the mere fact that motherfucking Kendrick Lamar even felt confident enough to say that, my nigga, should tell you. Should tell you. Unless unless Kendrick's just feeling himself, which is, I kind of think Kung Fu is starting to feel himself a lot. The nigga even called out Snoop. Kung Fu Kenny's starting to feel himself a lot now. I'll tell you one person he won't call out. That's Jay. But they're they're playing for the same team, allegedly. Hmm. All right. <laughs>